Ya, kata ya, oke. Okay. Right, different charges configured in different ways will produce different electric fields. This is what I was saying to you there, they're adding on about the you were asking about if we have a positive and a positive together, because uh, we had a look at positive and negative earlier. Um, we'll look at four different types which we need for the exam. Uh, that is, we'll look at fields produced by a point charge, a spherical charge, parallel plate and a dipole. <coughs> Don't worry, we'll have the names again now. Alright, so you need these diagrams in the exam because they like to ask students to draw them. So the question would be, draw the electric field for a point charge. So. Obviously, if you have a positive point, now just to be clear, wait, 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 just to be clear, these are two separate pictures. These aren't on the same picture, so maybe you want to draw a line down the middle. This is if you have a positive point. If you put a positive charge near it, what happens? It moves out and here, it moves in. So these are the two diagrams for a point charge. Um, they have asked you to draw this in the exam. Now, these diagrams maybe could be a little bit better. Uh, what I mean by that is, when you're near it, you should draw big arrows, but then when you're further away, you should draw smaller arrows. It's not as strong further out. Okay, can we do the next diagram? Yeah. The next one is, um, I think, the spherical one next, maybe? Yeah, spherical. And you might say, oh, what's the difference between this and a point? Not really much. The only difference between a spherical is when you have many points together. And the key here is that uh, having many points together in a sphere is like having one large point. That's the idea for this. I didn't draw the negative case because the only difference with the negative case is what? The arrows. So. Yes, you must draw the arrows. Yeah, both if possible, yeah. Yes? Continue? Adnan? Yes. Yeah. Okay, next one now. Um, come on. Parallel plates. When you have two charged plates. Uh, so they look like this. So what's happening here? <coughs> this plate is positively charged this plate is negatively charged and you get this sort of constant electric field movement between the plates. The only thing that's a little bit strange is at the edge it kind of uh, bends out a little bit. Huh? 
Oh my goodness, um, we have very complicated formulas <coughs> if you want to actually work out the shape of this graph. Um, you could almost think about it as it's almost like this field is spilling out as it moves down. You know what I mean? Like overflow almost. Um, it actually is quite interesting, but there is something very complicated happening at the edge here. Uh, which makes it kind of a bit not as uh, sharp, you know. So uh, this is more of a, uh, this is something that you would do in first and second year university. What exactly is happening at the edge here? So right for this course, that's a little bit too hard to talk about. Um, all, I, all I say is, it's like it's spilling out at the edge here. So you got to feel from the positive to the negative. This is the parallel place here. Um, okay, so there's one left that you would need for the exam. Oh, I should tell you um, which which ones are common on the exam. Uh, strangely, they're all common except for the spherical one, which they've never asked yet. Yet. The second one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Continue. Yeah. And what's the last one? Uh, I call it the dipole. <laughs> yeah. Now, actually, I guess I was lying to you, Adnan. Um, I don't have the picture. I have to draw it for you. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to find them online, but I'll draw them. This is a positive and a negative, which we've done. If you can draw that please, then I'll draw a positive positive and then a negative negative. So we have more than four. Yes. I guess you do. I suppose if you count the first one as two and the second one as two and the third one is two because you have positive negative or turn it upside down. Two, four, six. Uh, nine. <laughs> hang on, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, four is close to nine. You know, they're both they're both single digits. No. Just a sec. Just checking how my conversion is going. Okay, did you draw this? No. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I want to make more coffee before my next business class. I have Faisal in this, you know Faisal. Yeah, in January. Engineering. Yeah. No, no, but he, uh, he, he makes me tired. Yeah, you know. He is the Hisham of, uh, of uh, <coughs> intake two engineering, yeah. You've seen him, you know Faisal, don't you? He wears a cap all the time, talks a lot. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. He makes me tired. And of course, then I, and don't forget, I have Fuang as well. 
She makes me tired. Yeah, well, it's not compared to Faisal. It's okay, because I know he's not going to watch this video, because it's semester two. Huh? So if you, if you are watching this Faisal, what's up? I'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> All right. Did you draw this? Yeah. Okay. So as promised, I'll give you positive, positive, and negative, negative. So we can actually kind of work this out for ourselves. If I have a positive here and a positive here, which way would a positive particle move if it's near this one? This it wants to be pushed away, wouldn't it? Yeah. And this one here would also want to be pushed away. Yeah, but remember, like we were discussing earlier, there's none. there's none in the middle. So what's happening here is, as it gets nearer to the center, it kind of uh, disappears, it gets weaker. I'll try and draw this a bit neater. Um, yeah, it gets smaller as it moves out here. But this one here gets smaller and smaller and smaller and then there's nothing here. So the ones in the middle are smaller than the ones on the outside. Well, no, here it cancels in the middle. Yeah, like it gets smaller than the cancels and then on the outside there's bigger shadows. It gets bigger, it's bigger here on this side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But then it gets smaller again because it's moving away. They do not usually ask to draw this one in the exam because it's harder to draw than the other one. You can try and draw it if you want. Um, so you might have something here. But here is um, empty in the center here, there's no electric field. And then I'll try my best to draw a negative and a negative. Um, but why do they push it to? No, it, you have to imagine what would a small positive charge do if it's here? What would it do? If I put a positive charge here, what would happen? Yeah. If I put it here, what would happen? Yeah, that's why I'm drawing the arrows this way. What about a negative? If I put a small positive charge here, what would happen? Yeah, yeah it wants to be moved towards it, doesn't it? Huh? What are you asking me? Yeah, well, if you put a small positive charge here, it will want to be pulled towards it. But if you put a small positive charge here, again, it's cancelled. So, uh, here there's a pull here, and here there's a pull. But the, but the small negative. No, but the definition of the field is what a small positive charge would do. What would happen if you put a small negative? Yes. If I put a small negative here, the only difference is uh, it moves opposite to the arrow. Why? Because it's negative and not positive. What's the reason? I don't understand your question. Yeah, because there's a negative and a negative. Yeah, but why? Why? Oh, why? What is the cause of it? Yeah, there's a force which we'll study later in this chapter called Coulomb's force. It's a bit like a gravitational force, except instead of depending on the mass, it depends on the charges. So there is a reason for this. There is a force that's causing this, which we will study later. Um, if you want to look it up, it's uh, named after Coulomb. It's also called electrostatic force. Um, you've heard of this? Yeah. Yeah. We this you want to know what is the re what is the cause of the movement, is it? Yeah. 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 But what yeah, what is making it move? I don't know about the background. I'll wrap it up there, Adnan. We will get to that later in the chapter, okay? <laughs> Goodness sake.